Jacqueline Brooks with CraftyJackStamping.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Brusho. So to start with, you need a piece of paper. Uh, I have chosen the shimmery white because it's a little bit thicker than, the, than our regular cardstock. And um, I am going to emboss it with um, first mark embossing stamp pad, watermark pad, and I'm going to use the Rooted in Nature stamp set using these two leaves. So let's get started. Okay, so I have the, the stamps on an ink pad. Uh, or a clear block and one thing you need to always do when you emboss is to use this embossing buddy it helps keep the embossing powder from sticking to different parts of the paper so I'm just going to do random And now I'm going to do the larger. I probably should have started with the larger because it's a little bit hard to see where I should emboss. I don't know if you can see, but I am certainly having a hard time seeing. And let's see if we get have pretty decent coverage there. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to add one more of the small ones up here in the top. And then I have the embossing powder. I keep mine in a little container so that uh, it's easy to get to and easy to use. Probably need to fill it up a little bit more here. It's just looking a little bit low, but it's plenty. You don't really use a lot. It's just in the spreading it, it helps if there's a little bit more. And that one, I seem to be right on it. So hopefully I didn't mess it up too much here. And really, how much you emboss it is quite up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it around. And that looks pretty good here. You shake it out. I don't see any spots where the powder is and shouldn't be. So now I'm going to heat emboss it. And I'm going to pause this and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And as you will see, I have embossed it. And as you will see, I burned the paper because I held the embossing uh, heat embosser 
too long on a certain spot. So I burnt it a little here and a lot here. So uh, one way you can do this uh, is by holding it too close or too long. And the best way to avoid that is to make fast, clear, um, smooth coverage over it instead of holding it at one time. But I wasn't using proper light and I couldn't see that it was embossed when it clearly was. So, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead with this technique so we can see how it looks with it because it may cover it up. So now this is my tray. I've never done it on a tray like this and without taping it to a board. So this is a new way to try it, and I've heard that this works too. So my sponge is moist, and it is to hold it a little steady when I spray it with water. So we're going to use the yellow, and it, as you see, I have a just one hole poked in it, and I have it stopped because if you open the top, then it'll have, there'll be too much going everywhere. So I just have one little hole. I'm gonna use the yellow and I'm gonna use the green. The, it's the uh, mossy, moss green. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna sprinkle this on first. I need to, I'm going to make sure I get it in the spot that's burned so that we can see how it looks after. The first time I've quite burned it that bad. Okay, so I've got good coverage of the green. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of yellow in a couple of spots to just add some variation. Okay. So then what you need is you need a um, water spray. So Stampin' Up! has these and I'm just going to spray it and see what happens. So the sponge should be helping to hold it so it doesn't curl too much doesn't look like it's doing a very good job here. So I'm going to take a tweezers and help hold it down a little bit. Make sure I have all the spots where there's powder covered. So now we want to let it dry, but see the pooling on the edges? We're going to shake that off a little because we don't want it to be that much. And I just am putting it on the sponge and then I'm going to poke this back down.
Looks like this edge over here needs a little bit more spray, so I'm gonna spray that. Actually, I think it was just that there wasn't a lot of the powder over there. So now the trick is to let it dry. So some more of those pooling, I am going to use a tissue to, if I had a paper towel handy, I would use that because it's a little bit more sturdy. But just to soak it up here. Okay. So now we have to let it dry. So when it drying, I can leave it still to dry like this, or I can heat dry it. Now, considering I already messed up with the heat drying, I'm gonna let it dry naturally as long as I can. And so I will have to pause this and I will be back. So we're back, it's dry, and I couldn't wait. I had to use the, the dryer and it worked out fine. I used quick strokes back and forth on low heat. And now it's dry. And it is not too badly curled. And I think it looks quite nice. The um, It's a subtle background, which is what I was going for because I didn't want it to be too bold. And it will go nice with one of our greens or one of our, our yellows or even one of our navies or one of our blues. So uh, now that it's done, you want to take a tissue and rub the white embossing portions and get off any of the additional powder that's still there, a little bit hardened. That hadn't melted with the water. And the burned mark you can't really tell. So I did a good um, choice in deciding to go ahead with this project. And next I will show you my final project. <laughs> 